Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Arden of Faversham and we get to hear from Alice again today in Act 1, Scene 1. I promise you there is more to this play than just Act 1, Scene 1. It's just, it's a really long scene. And we've had a couple of couples almost break up but then get back together. We have Arden who just left for London after almost being poisoned by his wife and her lover, uh, who's an ex-butcher named Mosby. Uh, but Arden has successfully gone off and Alice, his wife, and Mosby were talking about how this is kind of sad that he's left before he was able to die. So what they really need to do is get a hitman to go after him in London. And then Green starts to come in and Alice is like, oh, Mosby, you got to hide, you got to hide. So Mosby goes away and Green comes in and he's all upset because he has heard that Arden got all of the deeds to all of the lands around the Abbey of Faversham, and Green had previously owned some of that land. Some of it was his, but the fact that the king has now given all of it to Thomas Arden means that Green has been robbed of his lands and potentially his livelihood. So he had come over to try to talk to Arden, but since Arden wasn't there, he was talking to Alice, and Alice is like, oh, you think you have a bad? Like, don't even, don't even start. And he's like, what are you talking about? Like, everybody knows that you're of noble birth and you married to a great man, and uh, like, how could he possibly treat you badly? And Alice says, oh, Master Green. Be it spoken in secret here, I never live good day with him alone. When he's at home, then I have froward looks, hard words, and blows to mend the match withal. And though I might content as good a man, yet doth he keep in every corner trolls. And when he's weary with his trugs at home, then rides he straight to London, there forsooth. He revels it among such filthy ones as counsels him to make away his wife. <laughs> Thus live I daily in continual fear, in sorrow, so despairing of redress, as every day I wish with hearty prayer that he or I were taken forth the world. So Alice is saying, and I mean, we've seen Alice be a little bit dramatic earlier in the scene, you know, when, when Arden took his bit of soup and was like, oh, this tastes a little funny. And she's like, I can't do anything right. And you say, I'm going to poison you. And she put on that whole show, which we know was a show because afterwards she went to Mosby and she was like, wasn't that good? What, did you see what I did there? You saw it. It was good, wasn't it? So she might be playing this up a little bit. We haven't really gotten to see Arden and Alice alone yet, but what she's saying is when the two of them are home alone together, he's mean to her and he he frowns at her and perhaps even beats her and he cheats on her with prostitutes all over the place and when he gets tired of those prostitutes, he goes to London to hang out with other prostitutes and other types of people that are encouraging him to kill her. So she's telling Green that she actually lives in fear for her life to the point where she wishes that either she or her husband would just drop dead someday. And Green, wanting to play the, the valiant knight part or whatever, is like, oh, that terrible man, and, and if he lives one more day, he lives too long, and, and I, I'll, I'll be able to help you. And she's like, really? You can help? But if you're going to do something, then you shouldn't actually kill him while he's in London. You should get somebody else to kill him while he's in London, so it's not down to you. And here's, here's uh, a tenor for you, and you'll get 20 more when, when he doesn't come back from London. So she arranges for Green to hire a hitman to kill Arden while he's in London. And Green is totally fine with it because he thinks that he's helping out a damsel in distress type. So Green goes off to take care of that because also what's in it for him, beyond like the 30 bucks that she's going to give him, what's in it for him is if Arden dies, then the fact that the king gave Arden all of the lands around the Abbey of Faversham, it, that would become moot and all of those lands would revert to their original owners. So by killing Arden, Green also gets his land back. So that's what's in it for him. So he goes off, he's going to make some plans. 
he's going to do some stuff. And Mosby comes back out and she's, she's like, she's like, you're not going to believe it. She, I, I have the best news. And then she's going to proceed to share that news in tomorrow's monologue. So I'll see you then for that. Mwah.